Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to As Written by Shakespeare. Tonight's episode, Rorschach's First Journal Entry from Watchmen by Alan Moore. Enjoy. Within the hallowed pages of this script shall I, one night errant Rorschach, recount a woeful tale as it unfoldeth afore mine eye on the twelfth day of the tenth month, in the year of our Lord, nineteen hundred and eighty-five. Twas in the breaking light of earliest dawn when I did stumble upon the mangled course of that which I may call a lowly cur, his belly o'errun by the cruel wheels of unknowing carriages. Fear hath taken hold of the city, and his fear of me, for I alone hath borne witness to what lies behind its pristine golden mask. These cobblestone alleys are not but sewers of filth and sanguine fluids, spilling forth from an open wound that caught the vilest of vermin as though twere a feast for the king. When, lo, that wound shall heal, as all wounds must, it shall trap those vermin and rob them of that which they treasure for themselves, yet do not respect in others. So steeped in blood and shame are they that I may liken them to a rotten ship and a raging tempest, and when the sluttish women and the kings whose thrones are built on the bones of the innocent, when their cries for salvation reach mine ears upon the safety of the rocky shore, my whispered reply of nay shall sweep o'er the raging storm and still their beating hearts ere I leave them to the mercy of fate. Tis a bark of their own making, for they saw not the wisdom of such great men as my noble father or the righteous king, such men who pride themselves on honesty and heavenly justice. Nay, they would rather keep barbarians and villains as goodly gear, taking to them as sheep to the shepherd, never knowing him to be a fiend leading them to certain doom off a mighty slope. Thou canst not defend the honor of those who have none. Creation itself standeth at the brink, gazing into the black abyss of the everlasting maelstrom. Lo, among us are the witless dukes and their silver-tongued council, yet are those silver tongues made bars of heavy lead, moving them all to silence. This has been... As written by Shakespeare. Thank you for watching.